Welcome back to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in Washington, D.C. The names of 155 officers killed in 2005 were recently engraved here on the walls of remembrance. Next year, the name of Officer Joseph Corr of the New Hartford, New York Police Department will join them. And tonight, we got to find the last member of a desperate gang of thieves wanted for his murder. Tom Morris has the story. What you're about to see looks like a very well-planned jewelry store robbery caught on tape. It was August 26, 2005, in Freehold, New Jersey. The man initially approached the case and began a conversation with one of the salespersons about watches. At that time, a second male walked into the store and walked alongside the first man. Watch as the guy in the suit nudges the guy wearing the red cap. It's a silent signal between them. Suddenly, the dude in the red cap whips out a pistol. So does his buddy in the suit. They quickly herd the employees into a back room. The first two individuals were then shortly joined by two other suspects who came into the store with duffel bags. Their job was to hit the display cases and scoop up thousands of dollars of jewelry. And while they're grabbing the loot, the primary individual who entered the store instructed the salesperson to retrieve a tape from the recording equipment. The salesperson showed that there was no tape in the machine. Convinced their crime wasn't caught on tape, the four crooks rolled out. What the thieves didn't know was this. The store's state-of-the-art security system records its video on a computer hard drive in a secret location. And when cops downloaded the crystal clear footage of this seemingly well-organized heist, they quickly noticed some critical flaws in the thug's perfect plan. Like this one. Check out the awkward way this guy walks. He's got a bad limp. And check out their hats. Cops say this guy's wearing a Philadelphia Phillies baseball cap. And check out this guy. Cops say he's wearing a Philadelphia 76ers cap. Do you think they're from Philly? So did the cops. The Jersey detective sent the video images to the Philadelphia FBI. And sure enough, an agent thought one of the stick-up boys looked awfully familiar. We look at the picture, we see the guy has a limp, and he says, hey, I know a guy who has a limp, Robert Ward. Robert Ward is a hood with a lengthy record. And guess what he likes to rob? That's right, jewelry stores. His limp is a result of a bullet in his leg. And the FBI gave cops another unique clue on Ward. This very distinct tattoo inked on his right forearm. A picture of a baby with sunglasses on his head. Investigators scoured the video, and sure enough, there it is. Ward hadn't bothered to cover it up. With Ward identified, it didn't take long for cops to ID two of his accomplices. They say this guy's Eric Lane, and the guy in the suit is the gang's ringleader, Marion Pegasus. Cops are still trying to ID this fourth suspect. But while the cops were searching for them on the streets of Philly, they say this crew was already out of town on another job. A job that would leave them facing a murder rap for killing a cop. 911, what's your emergency? February 27th, someone calls police emergency in New Hartford, New York, and hangs up. But because we had enhanced 911 here, it immediately read on the screen the Lemons W.B. Wilcox jewelry store. Officer Joseph Corr quickly responded as two getaway vehicles tore out of the parking lot. Officer Corr chased one of them. The pursuit reached speeds over 100 miles per hour. But the chase came to a crashing halt when the robbers smashed one of the getaway cars into a gas pump and beat it on foot. Officer Joe Corr ran along this grassy area here around this depression and pursued the subject who was a little bit ahead of him right into the wooded area here. It is there where the, uh, the suspect pulled a gun and shot Officer Joe Corr. A seven-year veteran of the New Hartford Police Department Officer Corps left behind a wife and a one-year-old daughter. Cops.
cops mounted a massive manhunt for Officer Corps' killer, and it didn't take long for them to learn his name, Walter Richardson. That's because the getaway car he crashed into the pumps was registered to Richardson's mother in Philadelphia. The next day, investigators tracked the cop killer to his hideout in the Chester area of Philly. Cornered, Richardson once again came out blazing like a gangster. But this time, he got blown away by the boys in blue. When the smoke cleared, cops learned that Richardson was yet another member of Marion Pegasus' crew. And they say Pegasus and Ward, the guy with the limp, were in the second getaway vehicle in New York. Cops collared Ward in Philly a few weeks later. And remember Eric Lane? He was also picked up by the police. Cops still want to know the identity of the guy in the Sixers cap. But they really need your help to hunt down the gang's leader, Marion Pegasus. Pegasus is six foot two and 190 pounds. He sometimes goes by the alias Billy Dump, and his body is covered with tattoos. He almost always wears a beard, but he may have shaved it off. If you know where Marion Pegasus is tonight, please call us at 1-800-PRIME-TV. You know, it's estimated that one law enforcement officer is murdered every 53 hours. And I don't think it's a stretch to say that it's guys like Pegasus who keep that tragic death rate rising. That's why we need to take him down tonight. If you know where Marion Pegasus is hiding, do the right thing. Call our hotline at 1-800-CRIME-TV. That's 1-800-274-6388, and I guarantee you, you can remain anonymous. Now, stick with the manhunt. We'll be right back. Coming up. When I was around five to six years old, he would sexually sodomize me. When we announce the latest addition to the FBI's top ten list, your tips came pouring into our hotline. Tonight, you'll get the latest on the search for the most hunted man in America. He's insane. 